All right, so we finished pouring it in. I'm gonna show you what it looks like right now. Finished putting it in, the, put the stopper on, and uh, we're gonna just let that sit. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna get a lot more aromas. Uh, it's gonna be a much more pungent, hoppy flavor because you're not boiling the bitter flavor out of the hops anymore. You're allowing the actual floral notes to come through when you do this type of dry hopping. So, and we got this nifty little thing that I had from wine. Put it on top because light does harm the beer. Put it on top. We have another one under here under the box. I guess we can actually use that one too, but I like my box methods right now. We're going to see how it works out. Um, on the inside, you'll see a little, a few bubbles going. The bubbles don't mean that it's, well, it might be still fermenting a little bit because there's still some active yeast. But it's not going to ferment much more. But we did take a reading to uh, try to get an idea what it's going to be. We're going to do another one. But so far, it looks very, very nice color. Right? For an IPI. Nice. And, uh, it's our book of full of notes. Top secret book of notes. And this is Peter doing his cleaning. Peter's an expert cleaner. He's very good at it. He's also, he's not that good at constructing things, as you can see by all the poles and shit everywhere. But he is good at cleaning, so that's why I keep him around most of the time. <laughs> 